In the annals of space exploration, one name echoes with a profound and tragic question. Vladimir Komarov. Was he a pioneering hero, sacrificing all for the cosmos, or a victim of a relentless space race? His story remains one of the most haunting. The year was 1967. The Cold War space race between the Soviet Union and the United States was at its peak, pushing boundaries and risking lives. Soyuz 1 was meant to be a triumph, a symbol of Soviet superiority. Komarov knew the risks. Reports indicated over 200 structural flaws in the Soyuz capsule, yet the mission proceeded. He reportedly told friends he knew he wouldn't return, but felt compelled to go. Orbiting Earth, the spacecraft encountered critical failures. Solar panels failed to deploy, navigation was compromised, and the parachute system, the very last hope, malfunctioned catastrophically during re-entry. Komarov's final words were picked up by US radio outposts in Turkey, saying, this devil ship, nothing I lay my hands on, works properly, as well as letting out cries of rage as he fell to his death. Komarov plummeted to Earth, becoming the first human casualty of a space flight. His death sparked intense debate. Was he a willing martyr for his nation's ambition, or a tragic figure sent to his demise by political pressure? His final moments, filled with desperate attempts to regain control, paint a grim picture. Vladimir Komarov's legacy forces us to confront the true cost of ambition and the thin line between heroism and sacrifice.